Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new educational video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. I decided to make this video because I wanted to help everyone who is beginner in Forex. I wanted to share with you how did I become myself a good uh, and experienced trader in Forex, how many years it took from me and also I wanted to share with you the secrets behind being a good trader. I can never say, say about myself that, that I'm a perfect trader. However, I know that I am good trader and I'm thankfully making consistent profits and I wanted to share with you the reason or the secrets behind making these achievements. So the first question a lot of traders asking themselves is why am I still losing in Forex? So there should be a reason, right? So there should be a secret. There is something that I should know about Forex that maybe can help me maybe can enhance my ability in trading so let's see the beginners what they think what do i need to start earning profits okay before answering that question let's first see what the beginners actually thinking like but first let me see what people think they need so let's move to the next slide and see what people actually th think they need of course, the very, the very first thing the beginners think, they think is we need that holy grail strategy, a strategy that's secretly being used by the Illuminatis, maybe top class traders, banks, market makers, maybe some big and massive secrets that no one knows, but very few, maybe some very selected people in the world. They know these high, high classified secrets about Forex. They know exactly each candle, how it moves or how the market is going to go. Of course, that's all big uh, hoax and bullshit. Uh, there is no such thing and there is no holy grail strategy. Of course, there is always the possibility of losing a trade. And if you want to keep searching for that holy grail strategy that you are seeking, I'm telling you, my friend, you are going to waste years and years of your life looking for it and eventually you will not find anything then maybe one shot to be rich i mean oh yeah i will wait till i find that perfect opportunity and put all my money in it and boom i'm rich <laughs> not gonna work uh eventually uh, you will be addicted to trading forex and if you think that you can do that by maybe one it will happen one time with you okay maybe one day that thing might actually happen. Maybe you will invest, for example, like $10,000. And in one trade, you will gonna make, for example, let's say $12,000 of profit, making your total uh, account $22,000. Now, let's think about your mentality. Now, do you think really that you are gonna stop? Absolutely not. Now you will believe that you are lucky enough. You can win the lottery. You can now actually do the same thing again. So what you will do is again, you will do the very same mistake. You will put $22,000 in one trade and you will believe that as since I did it one time, I can do it again. So let me now do it again and make another trade and be rich in one day and night. All right. Let's say that you really did it. And in one trade, you sold the gold or sold the silver, and that account has become $40,000. Do you think you are going to stop? Absolutely not. Now you have become addicted. Now your brain is, con is convinced that I can always do it. I am lucky enough. I can keep doing it over and over and keep making money. So what, this $40,000 since you believe in yourself that you can trade it uh, you will do the same you are gonna put it all in one in one trade but that time you will be out of luck and actually that account maybe will be all either blow out or maybe back to let's say four thousand dollars just th 40 um, 36 thousand dollars down the drain you have lost it and now you know that you are not that lucky. Therefore, uh, the idea of one shot to be rich is actually might happen. However, the your brain will be you, you your brain will be tricked and will be under the illusion or under the how can I say that? You will believe that you can keep doing it over and over so many times. 
you can never do that in one time and just stop trading all right actually let me show you something this is very interesting let me show you one video my friends hold on hold on one second so this is the example I wanted to show you. This is actually one very famous example. This guy here, he have invested all his life savings or actually I heard that he have inherited this from his grandparents. Uh, $250,000. This guy, he have traded all in one trade, selling Apple stocks. Now, I wanted to see his reaction, what happened to him when he saw the stocks actually going in other way. Let's see, look at him. He's breathing. He's very nervous. There's uh, no way the stock is above 120 as soon as the earnings are out. The algos are going to be selling and then it's going to... That is a very good example, guys, of one person who have put all his uh, money in one trade. Please watch. Maybe like a, a snowball effect, you know? Wait a minute. Did I see one? No, 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 no. Wrong way! Wrong way. No. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yes! No, what the fuck is going on now? No! 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 Shut up! Oh my god. As you can see, he already realized that he have lost all his account in this one trade. Let's see further how, look at him. Now he will check how much he have lost so far. Pay attention. The question is, do you really be this guy? I really feel sorry for him. Uh, when I saw this video, it really broke my heart. But however, um, he made a mistake. We have to real, we have to learn from what happened to him. Now, really, guys, do you really want to be this guy? What happened to this guy can happen to any of us, including me. Therefore, again, one shot to be rich can never ever be uh, useful, and you can never rely on it because, as I said, you will be addicted to it and you will actually one day eventually you're gonna lose all your money now the thing is the beginners think is never lose at all all right so i'm sure there is a strategy or a way maybe a secret way to be perfect in forex never lose keep trading all day and making money over and over i'm sure within long time practice i can do it and I can achieve a level where I never lose any trade. Now that is again a hoax. That will never happen. You can never lose actually. You actually, it, you can never uh, keep trading without losing. No broker will allow you by the way. The broker actually gonna block your account. They cannot allow that. Um, it's, not, it's just not possible to never lose a trade. Therefore you have to get used to it that sometimes you are gonna lose some trades. Uh, the, uh, the, th the fourth thing that people think they need, by the way, this is section is what I need is, what the beginners, they think they need is. They will think, okay, I really wish to start trading Forex, but uh, I don't have $10,000 yet. A less amount went worth the headache, right? Yeah, I have seen a lot of people actually who wanted to start trading Forex uh, when I was teaching binary options and I was asking them, why you guys don't move to Forex? Then he said, I don't have enough investment. I just have $500 worth $1,000. And I asked him, oh, how much you want to invest? He said 5000 at least. And even my close friends, actually, my childhood friends, um, when I told him about Forex, he just said, I cannot go to Forex right now. I need to start with at least $50,000. And I was opening my jaw and man, come on, seriously, 
that's not gonna happen guys uh, if you want to start trading forex you don't really need that big investment since our main target is actually making money so why do you need to invest a lot of money then you are a greedy person greediness is never uh, a forex uh, friendly uh, thing and eventually the greedy people are not gonna make it now the fifth thing that the traders think they need is i need so many screens a perfect desk and office then the beginners you will think that i see professional traders looking at 10 screens full of charts and wiring news feeds trading with a group of traders uh, watching the market the whole day in a perfect office and the huge screens like 65 inch screens and i really need that to be a professional trader seriously that is not gonna work uh, all you need is a screen where you can see the chart and that's all um, you don't need so many screens at all you don't need to keep watching so many currencies at the same time actually that is gonna kill you in the end i mean personally i'm just using two screens one is to watch the chart and forex chart the other one is just for watching youtube and reading stories just like that so one is for trading and the other one is for playing sometimes i play video games while trading forex i, I play dota i have to admit it here i i am I, I am addicted to dota dota 2 of course so i play it a lot and i don't mind at all to open the chart on the other screen and just keep watching the market while playing and sometimes actually because of that i lose i admit here i am not a perfect person sometimes i'm just falling to my own mistakes and lose however uh, that was in the past right now i'm just uh, dedicated for trading when i am opening a trade or actually opening meta trader i just focus on the trade and when i play dota i focus to be a good support or good mid laner <laughs> just wanted to share with you so what i need is that is the thing that we are actually thinking that we need so let's see what let's see what you really need to become a professional forex trader enough dreaming all right let's be realistic first of all you need experience you need to spend more time reading the chart understanding it forex is still a new thing in your life as a beginner of course and you need time to understand it just like learning a new language learning the language itself is not enough at all you need st you still need to practice talking it and understanding it listening it writing it you need underst you need to master something in your life you need a lot of time and you need more and more practice and here i wanted to share with you my own story that when i started learning forex in 2014 uh, 13 actually end of 2013 i never opened any book at all what i was doing is simply opening youtube and spending the whole day just watching the charts L watching the videos understanding it then i open the chart and by myself i try to analyze why did the, the the candle move like that why did the candle move here why did the breakout happened i was something happened to me that time i cannot explain it i just didn't stop learning it, i i was just always hungry and thirsty to learn more and more even when i wake up the first thing i go to my computer and just open forex chart and just try to understand why did the market move this way even before going to sleep sometimes i was going to sleep then i cannot sleep because yesterday or actually i saw the euro usd moving like that it was moving massively up i needed to understand what happened why did the chart move like that so you need to actually love forex you need to understand it you need more time to understand reading books actually not gonna help you i'm telling you from my own experience reading the books is not gonna help you the only thing can help you to earn the experience is actually trade you can use demo account of course you don't need to use your real money you can stick to demo accounts and trade by yourself that is the only thing that gonna help you no matter how many books you read it's not gonna help without practicing now the most important part in my opinion make mistakes there is a saying th about that if you never fail you never learn that is totally right and i highly highly um i i really believe in this 
because you will never achieve anything in your life without falling in the mistakes. Bring a paper guys, that is my advice for you. Every time you see one trade has went against you, for example, if you buy right here and you see the market went down, bring a paper or a notebook next to you, write down the reason why did this candle actually break out from that support level. There must be a reason. Could it be, for example, a price action right here, for example, a pin bar? Maybe there was a pin bar right here and the market is actually uh, making a bearish movement right now. Therefore, buying the pair here was a, was a mistake. Maybe not. Then you have to move to the daily candle or even weekly candle to know the general direction of the market. So whenever you lose a trade, my friends, if we say, for example, that is a resistance and the market reversed that resistance and you decided to buy here, assuming that here there was a previous support and the trade fails don't continue trading until you understand why did the trade fail there is always a reason so what is what the reason could be uh, stop trading for a while until you understand the reason why did this trade fail was it a news yes could be maybe there was some news about the pound or the usd currency that made the pair actually move in a bearish uh, uh, breakout uh, leaders statements could be economic news could be Mr. Trump have made any tweet that is very common nowadays you need to check it out is the currency currency that you have sold was very strong and it was wrong to sell it yes sometimes this is happening for example you are selling let's say the USD CAD all right now sell you are gonna sell the USD CAD however let's see for example, let's say that the market has reversed from that support level and right now the CAD is very weak. Maybe the CAD is the weakest currency at the moment. Therefore, selling the USD against CAD is totally not smart. Even though if you are seeing here a previous support and you think, okay, so this previous support is going to now be the new resistance. But you, for your shock, you, can, you surprisingly see that the market is continue moving up. Up and they are uh, the market is breaking out from that previous support because you missed the point that the CAD right now is very weak and you cannot really sell the USD against the CAD when the CAD is very weak so what I'm trying to explain to you here is there is always a, a reason uh, behind every trade and it actually could be the wrong time to open the trade that is also a possibility maybe the timing of opening the trade was wrong um, for example, it's really not smart to, for example, um, sell. Um, let me just try of uh, thinking about something here. Uh, let's say, for example, there was a high impact in news at 4.30 p.m. your time. There is some uh, um, ISM PMI news about the USD currency and you decided to open a trade on euro usd at 4 at 4 20 pm you missed the checking the news by the way i have fallen into this mistake many times by myself you missed checking the news and for example you opened a sell order on the usd cad or sorry the euro the euro usd you opened a sell order and your trade is going in profit. Life is good. Everything seems happy until that the clock tick the four tick at 4:30 p.m. and there will be some really, for example, uh, good uh, bad news for the USD dollar, which will gonna make the pair suddenly move up like that, and you will be shocked to see that all the profits you have made have been wiped out. Not only that, but also your account itself has been. Uh, in the margin call or you have wiped your account so opening the trades at the wrong time also can be an often mistake that we have to pay attention to it so i need you to understand that making mistakes is totally fine and normal don't ever think bad about yourself don't just dis be disappointed by yourself or, or with yourself if you uh, have ever fo uh, lost a trade what is not fine is keep falling to the same mistake over and over that is totally not normal, to be honest. If you keep falling to the same mistake over and over many times, it's like you are fighting the market, you are forcing the market to go in your direction. 
this will never bring you any consistent profit it's very important to record every single trade you failed to understand why did it fail that is very very helpful for the beginners you have no idea how much this will be helpful for you please guys just for my sake do it for one day only you will be surprised by the results do it one day only bring a notebook next to you um, with a pen of course and write down every single time you lose a trade and try to understand why did this trade has failed there is always a reason once you understand that reason try to avoid it later and by that you can reach a really good level of experience in trading forex the other thing i wanted to say with uh, oh by the way hold on hold on let me pause the video for a second hold on going back to this point i wanted to share with you something happened today about the euro usd which have actually led for the failure of my euro usd signal so if you look at what i'm writing for you here guys economic news economic news actually might be a reason for failing the trades and that is exactly what happened today and i wanted to share with you um this is my weekly analysis for the euro usd in my midweek analysis video i mentioned that there in this level we need to start shorting or selling the euro usd and please pay attention the signal was perfect the market has reversed exactly at my entry point a uh, euro usd has reversed for 61 or 62 pips in profit then again after bouncing on that support the market is still not able to break out from that resistance making my analysis very accurate and valid however look at that what happened right here guys that is what i'm telling you please always write down uh, on a notebook the reason behind uh, every single trade why did it fail so what i did here after seeing this momentum i knew that there should be a reason why did the euro usd actually fail like that why did the euro usd simply started to break out from that resistance now let's check out what happened so this is the one hour chart let's see how many candles or how many hours has it been since the market break out from this trade it has been 11 hours all right so since 11 hours the market has actually break out from that resistance so what did happen something must happened in the market that led for this and here it is guys look at that 4 30 p.m my time there there was the prelime gd uh, gdp qq and we can see that the news was very bad for the currency let me show you the time here in, in, in where, I, where I live. As you can see, that now, now the time is 3.30 a.m. Yes, I'm still awake. So 11 hours, exactly 11 hours. So we can see that indeed that is the reason why this mark, the trade has lost. It is not because of any wrong, anal uh, wrong analysis, not my fault. What happened is uh, because of this economic news, the market has went up here and broke out from that resistance that is something that you need to understand and that is actually taking us this is taking us to the next point there is no fixed rules in forex uh, there is no way that the market will move statically based on anything forex is full of different analysis by different traders it's impossible to see a group of traders agree on one trade and forex is not simply a one plus one equals two um, what I meant by this is telling you that there is no way that the forex market is gonna always and always reverse at certain points so for example if you are seeing here a resistance number one there is no way that the market or no, there is nothing can force the market to reverse at resistance number two it's not like a something that must happen the whole forex market is not about uh, statically movement for example uh, uh, as you know there uh, there is always the possibility that a previous support is gonna be a new resistance but we can see that the market has actually broken out from that level that support has not become a resistance so what I'm trying to explain to you that there is no static rule there is no um, permanent rules in forex that's what making forex actually full of different analysis by different traders and they can never agree on one setup one trader might, uh, might actually see this as a channel 
and the market is actually moving in this channel some other traders actually might look at it in different way they can look at the different picture on daily candles they can tell you no actually this is a downtrend like that it's a downtrend channel and the market is gonna continue falling down um I, what I'm trying to tell you here is there are different opinions always in Forex. There will be no one opinion that is all that is valid. So many traders actually can never agree on one setup. And that is the beautiful thing about Forex that it proves your point and it proves that you are right uh, based on your own analysis and understanding uh, this market. Forex market is actually bigger than you think it is. No matter how you think you finally understood it it can always move against your analysis forex market is very subjective to the economic news world events catastrophes or terrorism attacks or actions wars pandemics etc so that leads us to understand something here that you can never put all your money in one trade again i'm telling you just because for example you saw a price action for example uh, m you might see actually a price action and you think that the market now is forced to move based on this price action no that's not gonna happen at all we can see for example here a pin bar has appeared so you think that the market now is gonna fall down and you open a sell order which is not really a wrong order which is not really a wrong decision yes a pin bar here is a good uh, um, indicator that the market might actually continue falling down however market continued moving up instead making you losing your money that's why you that's the reason why you will never ever find a way to never lose in forex there will be always a reasons that you will lose in forex because market can never move in one permanent way um, you will never be rich after one trade i think we have already explained that new traders will always look for a big profit on no time i think the video i have just shown you uh showed you sorry uh, can prove my point here sadly this is not how forex works and it won't happen you need to prepare to the losses always use a proper money management you will lose some trades i can guarantee you that the final step is never stop learn 90 percent of forex traders lose you know the reason because they simply give up simply because many of them have quit the other 10 percent who are making consistent profits in forex are those who never stopped they never gave up they didn't stop learning every time they lose they learn from their mistakes they used all their mistakes and faults to build a mountain to climb and now they are at the top the success mountain is simply made of a past mistakes by the way this statement is not valid for forex only this statement is gonna be helpful for your whole life achievements and targets keep this in mind my friends believe me S since i read this phase here or this say um i'm thinking about it all the time the success mountain is simply made of the past mistakes if you don't have any past mistake you will never grow up and you will never actually learn you will never achieve anything if you think that you are somehow div uh, a divine that you can never fail if you believe in yourself that you have some divine power or some uh, special ability that i am better than others i can never lose i am the best then i'm i'm i am i have to deliver for you the sad news that you are never gonna make it we are all human beings and f uh, failing and making mistakes is the very first part we are, we are, we are learn from our life in even in our childhood when you are a kid when you are a baby when you are a fetus when you just want to to start learning how to walk you how many times we have failed and uh, fall down all of us we have fall down when we started uh, learning how to walk same thing when we learned when we started to learn how to ride a bicycle how many of us uh, failed and fall down and broke our knees or um, um, had some injuries? Of course, all of us. No one of us have ever uh, escaped that. Making mistakes is what actually going to make you grow up and going to make you a professional trader. Uh, I'm sorry for the long video. I just really wanted to share with you my experience in Forex that 
losing is part of this uh, business and if you get if you are if you will be angry and upset about every single day you lose in forex then i'm sorry but this is not your business this is not this is not for you if you cannot accept the losses you will never be a successful trader always be sure that mistakes and lo and um, losses is part of the game and it's just impossible to actually escape this part and uh, you can never uh, ignore it however again um i'm sorry again for the long video i just really hope you have you guys have learned something uh, especially the beginners i hope this will change your attitude it's gonna change your mentality about how you look for forex it's gonna change your way uh, and it's gonna motivate you to learn more and more and never stop learning so in the end i really hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching.